Hey, so want is the name of uh, the aspect of uh, desire or will I've referred to as before, or chaos. All of these are one and the same, and I think want kind of nails it more than will. I can still refer to will and build a character and make that the name of the aspect, uh, character-wise, but <clears throat> I think for future intents and purposes it should be called want. And what led me to that is believing that when you attune to high, then you are enabled to have some kind of superpower, some kind of ability. And it's discovering this and putting it to real world examples. And I'll, I'll, I get, I'll get to examples later on if I remember to. But I want to talk about how I know this to be true, so I'm not trying to get ahead of myself and try to explain it, um, everything in perfect detail, with logic and everything. Uh, no, I'm trying to explore the underlying fundamental realizations through these kind of like deeper abstract contemplations. I'm sorry, but this is how it is. <clears throat> it makes no sense to you, but in my mind, as I see my understandings start to formulate and make sense, and it continues to baffle me and, and astound me about um, the implications of all of this coming together as a beautiful, truthful tapestry of a future that we can have now and always have had access to now, being able to, um, being able to live how we want to live and be how we want to be. It comes down to that. And it helps to get me into these states like this where I attune myself to high and I go out into nature, I go for a walk, I get out of my head, or I try to, <laughs> of course, I'm deeply in my head all the time. But when I try to get out and I use the excuse of using photography or videography to document the world around me, I've, I've been taking videos um, and putting them on uh, represent or represent and um, they are nature inspired very beautiful you know present moment kind of awareness evoking just yeah being present kind of videos so they're short little little clips just to show my present moment of serenity or beauty or whatever and I've been uploading loads of those, I've been taking loads of those and it seems like uh, it's a very healthy thing for me to do, I just kind of gravitate towards that. And so it helps me be in my zone and especially when I'm attuned to a higher frequency, I'm, that's when I'm in that zone manually, overridden, you know, I don't have to um, get that gym endorphin rush and euphoria when you just feel high and elated from being physically um, taking that that's of the body you know that's another portal and um, you know anyway there, there are multiple ways to to get into a higher state but basically that's all it is it's just a little quick override and microdosing um, some weed helps you get into that zone and um, it shouldn't be that scary and there should be a lot of stigma that's been, that's, that's tackled once and for all and uh, make this stuff legal and really get to a place where we can all have experiences like this for ourselves and get to know ourselves because it's really important because the superpowers that I'm alluding to are potentially real and I'm only at the forefront of discovering this for myself because I kind of want to be testament to what I'm talking about you know as I document when I manifest the 
life that I want and the future, even though that might change at any given moment. My intentions are there and my understandings are there and through tenacity I can hopefully be a, an example of yeah, practice what you preach. So that's an intent in my back of my mind. All the whilst trying to be present. Yeah.